Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make dumpling wrappers from scratch. I'll be using my KitchenAid pasta maker attachment to help me out. Now let's get started. I have flour, salt, and boiling hot water. Add all this to the mixer and let it mix for a few minutes until the dough comes together. The hot water activates the gluten in the flour so when you make the dumpling wrappers, the dough doesn't want to shrink. It's still pliable, but not as much as an Italian pasta dough. You can use these dumpling wrappers for mandu, gyoza, and even shumai. But if you want to see videos on how to properly make those wrappers, let me know by hitting the like button and leave a comment on which one you'd like to see next. Now that the dough is ready, I'm just going to knead it by hand a few times just to smooth out the dough. Then flatten it out and wrap it in plastic wrap, set it aside and let it cool to room temperature. I like to get flour on the dough before I start rolling it out so it doesn't stick to the pasta machine. Okay, so I'm putting about half the dough into my pasta sheeter on the largest setting. At first it'll look like you're doing something wrong, but you're not. It's not going to come into a perfect sheet the first pass. The next minute of footage will be a progression of what you'll be seeing and I'll walk you through it. See how it kind of falls apart into pieces? You just want to pick it up and keep putting it through and it'll start to slowly come together. It looks more and more like a flat sheet of dough the more you do it. Here's a close up of the texture after a few passes through the pasta sheeter. Now we can start to thin the dough out by turning the dial to a smaller number each time we put the dough through the sheeter. I keep doing this until I get to the number 2 on my pasta sheeter. Look at that, it's getting closer and closer to the thickness that we want for our dumpling wrappers. I'm shaking the sheets to try and have them fold themselves in a neat pile. I'm using a number 80 mat for a circle cutter for the dumplings. You can cut the dough into circles, squares, or triangles, but for the dumplings I'm going to make, we want to have a nice half moon shape to them, so a circle is best. Once the dumpling wrappers are cut out, I like to lightly coat them with cornstarch to stop them from sticking together. You can cut two layers of dough at a time, but make sure you have a nice dusting of cornstarch in between the layers so they don't stick together. All the scrap pieces of dough you can put together and go through the same process of rolling them out so you don't have any waste. Thanks for watching everyone. If you found value in this video, hit the like button. It would help out my channel a lot. Don't forget to leave a comment on what you'd like to see next. Let's connect on Instagram at a chef and a spoon. See you next week for my dumpling video.